What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be drawing Odin from One Piece. So I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So center point to my page is about here. I'd say that's where his nose is gonna be. And we just go up and over to the right hand side a little bit. So we go diagonal up, across, and over like that. So he's got like a real pointy end on his eyes just here. And it kind of curves down around into there. So real particular sort of shape on his eyes and his pupil just in there. And I think they're just black, like so. So the other eye just over here, like so. They're quite close together. You can't quite fit an eye in there, but it's pretty close. Maybe just slightly less than an eye will, will be the distance just there. And then we go up and over like so. And curve it down and, and in like so. And then his pupil on this side again, just a black sort of line like that. So he's real big eyebrows. So we tick up like so, and down like that. And then it goes up, so like crazy big, and down like so. And he has some like frown lines and stuff in between. Like that and the other eyebrow sooner, up. Down to there, back up, back down, into here. So then his nose, so we'll bring it straight line down this side. And he actually has a, a, a line down the other side as well. And then he's got like, the, um, like a fully described nose. In anime, sometimes it's just like nostrils, but we can actually see like the tip of his nose there on the bottom and then it's going to actually curve up and around into there for his for his nostrils just around the side so then his mouth so we have a real serious looking guy so it's like real big it's like exaggerated mouths in in one piece they're really big so it goes up like that, and then it like goes across and down. Okay. It's like those samurai, his face looks like a samurai mask. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what it looks like. You know, those old samurai masks, the big mouth and stuff. And then his bottom lip lines are just there. So his chin then, real square, straight across, sort of chin. Just there. And you can check proportions now. So eyes to nose is about the same as nose to chin. And nose to bottom lip line is about the same as bottom lip line to chin. So nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin. Bottom lip line is halfway between the nose and the chin. So there are proportions approximately, okay? And then you go up the side of his face. So he's a real long, sort of skinny, narrow kind of face here. You want to stop about eye level because he's got like a, a bone that kind of, or looks like a bone that kind of sticks out for the side of his eye. So real defined features, okay? So what I mean is this kind of sticks out here and goes up like that. Similar on this side, up this way. And then this is going to come up around his eyebrows, just there. Back up around his eyebrows there. Like so. 
And he has like um, a beard, kind of a small beard, just down here on his chin. Just down into there. Um, so then his hair, right? So his hair's pretty crazy. So it like attaches to his face and he's got this big disc on top of his head. So starting down here, right? We're gonna go, we'll just go for it. So it goes up into here. And we do the same thing on the other side, up and in, like so. And it kind of starts to travel up this way, okay? And his ears stick out just above these, just here like this, line on top. Ears stick out here, line on top, right? Right, so let's see. So these will go up slightly higher, kind of curve out curve out this way and then his his hair disc is the only way I can describe it so it's gonna go curve out and around so it's like a big disc so it starts to come around this way right so this will go this direction as well okay and there might be a line coming across like so On top of his head. I've seen it with it, I've seen it without that line, so it's kind of up to you if you want to do that or not. So then the rest of that hair disc, that hair UFO comes across. Is it hair or is it like a hat? I'm not sure. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments anyway. So it comes all the way across like that. And that's it. It's kind of like colored black and shaded with a, like a bit of light gray. So then the ear, over the ear, sorry, there's more hair that spikes up and around like so. Go to a spike, down to there, like this kind of stuff, okay? And this will go all the way down around behind his shoulder. in this sort of fashion. So we're going like, it's long hair, you know, sticking out behind his head. But stop about just underneath his chin there because his shoulder sticks out this side and it goes in behind it. And then we'll pretty much do the same thing on this side. So, it comes out from behind his ear, like so, comes down, sticks out. Like this, these kind of spikes down to there. And down like this. And about the same level, you want to stop at his shoulder. So then his neck, right? So he's a pretty wide neck. He's quite a muscly sort of dude. So it comes down out to there, right? Another one on this side. Am I right? Yeah. Comes down like so. And like we'll give another sort of neck muscle line there. Something similar here, here. Yeah. And then so his kimono, he's got a red sort of strap, so that like curves in this way. Down here. Yeah, we can see, actually see a bit of his sword here. I was, I was gonna keep going, but we can see like just the top of his sword. So there's like a box down here. Just the handle of it. Can't see the actual sword, but. Just like the hilt, you know, it's got like a couple of bumps. Some lines going down that way. And like a flower or something on top, just here. Then he has this purple and white rope that's wrapped around him, okay? Um, but we'll do, sorry, chest muscle and collarbones first. Collarbone in here. There. And then this comes down like so. And then his chest muscle. 
probably go around here. So it's a real big chest. Yeah. And you know, you can give more chest muscle lines if you want. Uh, right, so that rope all the way. So just these sort of curving circular, the like balls, I guess. This kind of thing. And this one, you know, the next one is always in front of the last one. So same thing on the other side, coming around his neck. Then like another line just for his kimono here and here. Right, so then shoulder, so shoulder comes out like so, down, diagonal. Same on this side pretty much, out like so, down, like that. And then we got like folds for his clothing. Yeah, so these like uh, fold lines stick out like this, right? So it's like his sleeves are rolled up over his arm, right? So they're like curved down like this way, like so. And then this goes around, down to there. And this is like his arm, and you can see like maybe a line for his bicep or something there. And something similar on this side, so it goes up, down, lots of different sort of bumps and things. So lots of his sleeve lines and things like that. So just sticking down there and then the rope that goes behind his body like goes behind his hair so it like comes out here comes out the other side like there and then there and yeah we keep going so this is gonna like wrap around go into towards his elbow And same thing on this side. It's a real big. There you go. That's it. How to draw Odin. 
from One Piece. Hope was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.